Hello and welcome back to the She Says Show. I'm your host, Christine B. with Streets 993. Get ready to experience more interviews, business reviews, live performances, and more. Stay tuned. Coming up next, interview with Crystal with an eye. Hello and welcome to the She Sees Show. I am your host, Christine B. with Streets 993. Today I have the wonderful Crystal with an eye with me today. How are you? I'm fine. Hey, everybody. Hey, Corjet. How are you? Y'all, she just cracks me up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I can't even be serious with her. So tell the people what made you become an artist and who you are today, like, because you do so much. Let the people know what you do. Okay, um, first of all, I'm like a triple, quadruple threat out of here because I do rap, I do comedy, I do poetry, um, I'm also working on a book, but we ain't gonna talk about that, but yeah, but what made me start doing it is because I got tired of the same thing being put out there, like for this situation, this situation, as opposed to me, what I put out there is like, just say for instance, my song Average Bitch. I put out stuff out there for the people that's overlooked. You know what I'm saying? The people that's overlooked, the not so cute girls or the the insecure girls or you know, so I put stuff out there for people that probably wouldn't get recognition any other way. Did I say that right? Recognition. Okay. I think you did. Look, y'all, we from the country. Y'all so disclaimers. <laughs> disclaimers before y'all start trolling. I'm not here for the, I'm, I'm not here representing for the the, the little bit of cute girls. All those ugly girls. I, that's who I'm representing. You know, not calling none of my sisters ugly, but you know what we go through in life. You know. Everybody, everybody has been through some type of situation just like that. Um, even like body shaming like you could be small or big and yeah. you still get or body you have a lazy eye like me i was bullied coming up because my eye wanted to do its own thing mm -hmm. and people, you know so it's just the way god blessed you people just don't know how to accept you that's it they don't know how to accept you but only you need to know how to accept you to not let it tear you down so that's what i'm all right. here for right and i can see your confidence you are a great person so tell me what motivates you to create the different skits or the music and poets that you do because i my motivation is saying the stuff that people think but they don't say it so my comedy is raw like I'm I'm raw. Like I'm gonna tell you what it is. I don't talk about oh, I'm not setting up a um a joke or anything. Like I'm I talk real life stuff, like sexual stuff, everyday living stuff, badass kid stuff. Like I'm talking about the stuff that you say in your mind. It actually comes out my mouth because I don't give a fuck. So I, I'm just gonna say it. So that's my motivation because if I see somebody looking at something be like, mm, but don't say nothing, I'd be the one, girl, why you didn't tell them, you know, so, you know, I just, I, I want to say, I want to be the one that say stuff that people don't want to say. I want to be that person. Let me be like, she bold, yes, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and let me tell you, her, her comedy... Just just wait for it. Okay? You can't bring your Christian ears to my show. You're going straight to hell. You're going straight to hell. <laughs> Please don't. And mama, just don't judge me after what you hear from her. <laughs> uh, but you know I'm a home mama. Yeah, okay. Right. <laughs> so uh, tell me, do you have any new music coming up this year? Um, I'm actually going to put out a video for my song, Average Bitch, which is, again, talking about... Um, the females that's overlooked, like, just because you think you're not as cute as the next girl, it's still somebody that want her. Like, it's still somebody that's gonna, these dudes these days will stick their penis in a tree with a hole in it. So you know, you know. So I just, I, the song Average Bitch is, uh, it's, it's, it's a nice song. I think I did really good. I didn't know that it was going to be liked as much as it is. Oh, honey, but, I like this. Yeah, I, yeah. The average we all was talking about it when yes, you walked out here. We was like, yes. uh, one of my staff workers, uh, Angelica, she was like, I'm finna get my car and blast that car. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her I thank her. I thank her. Yeah, so that's, that's coming up. So I'm working on the video for that. And I also did a I Need Love remake that I'm working on now. And I think that 
people are gonna really like that too. I'm old school, so if I'm gonna remake something, it's gonna be old school rap, not none of the new school rap, cause I I don't understand them. Like they, <laughs> they don't speak of no English. I can't understand nothing they saying. They speak of no English, so. You know, I'm old school. I love it. I love it. Well, I do want to thank you so much for coming back to Street yes. 993. Thank you for having with me. With the She See It show. So tell the people how they can follow you on all social media. Um, On Instagram, you can follow me at that lazy eyed underscore crystal. D A T spell that. Not that. We hood. D A T. Lazy eyed underscore crystal. Um, TikTok, if you got that, same name. That lazy eyed, that lazy eyed underscore crystal. Uh, Facebook, I am under Crystal Majors. Make sure you spell my name right. K H R I S T A L. It will pop up. Do not spell it like the Crystal Hamburger. You'll never find me. You're never gonna find me. But yeah, y'all hit me up on social media platforms. I follow you back. If you follow me or you friend request me, we're friends. <laughs> we're going to be friends. You, it's not going to be a one-way friendship. I'm going to follow you back. No, y'all definitely follow her. She has amazing and funny content. And I definitely want you to stay tuned. Uh, don't miss out on the rest of this episode. I am your host, Christine B. With Streets 993. <laughs> Coming up next, business review with Soul for Nectar. Hello, hello. Have another business review with Soulful Nectar. Owned by Montana. Okay, we're gonna start off. You see our packaging. It's a lot of little stuff in here, so we're gonna get into it today. She has her own book. I really tried to make time to read this book before this review, but it didn't work out, but I will let you know after I read this book how it is. But it definitely, she told me about it in her interview. So, make for sure you watch the interview to learn more about her book. Oh, wow. Okay, I got a box. I'm going to open this last. <laughs> oh, she gave me a lot of goodies, y'all. She was so sweet when I met her. Okay, I got me some more sunglasses. Yes. Um, these are cute. They feel cute. I know they're cute. Yes. It's a lot of different things in here. Oh, it's another pair of sunglasses. Look at it. it got her logo on it. These, oh, these are the little frames. Okay, now I don't know how I'm gonna look with those because I don't know how I look with small glasses. I don't like how I look with small glasses. But yeah, these are interesting. No lenses. I guess just cuteness. Like a oh, what's up? Okay, let's get into the rest of this bag. What is this? I have some body butter. Give me some body butter. Is this more body butter? More body butter. I think these are two different flavors, most likely, because they look like two different colors one is pink and one is like a bluish color you, you will see it close up in just a second um i also have this and then she gave me some little hair clips ladies you know we love these hair clips so i'm gonna take these out the bag and you're gonna see everything up close and then these are her business cards. Look just like a debit card. I love cards like these. These are so creative and so cute. Now let's get into this box because I'm really excited to open this box. Y'all heard me trying to sing a little bit. <laughs> I can't sing worth nothing. But if you're a singer, I'd love to have you on the show. <laughs> Let me find something. Gotta go 
the getaway to open the box. I don't have no scissors around. Okay. She really gave me a box, y'all. And then she gave me a present. We had our interview. I'm like, homegirl, yes. Alright, I got a little note. Soon as I open up the box, thank you for supporting my business with a sticker. Oh my gosh, Mr. the paper. Okay, I love the note. Okay, I think she tells me what's in the box. Okay, you have rose quartz, a brass bell, a bath sachet. And the two ounce self love intentional candle. You know what? Actually, I think I smell the candle right now since I didn't open this box. Okay, it's so cute. Look at how it's packaged. I literally got to open it up. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> oh, is this a self love journal? Oh my gosh, yes. So she makes self-love journals too. Girl, you knew I needed this. Oh my gosh, the box, you guys. It's so pretty. Let's hope I don't make nothing fall while I try to show you. Ah, look at it. So cute. All right. So I think I read on the paper what everything is. I don't just want to make sure I say the right thing because I don't want to say the wrong thing. Yeah, I said everything. Yep. Have a rose quartz in this box, a brass bell, a bath sachet, and the two ounce. And I have a self-love candle. Yes. So this is the candle. This is that. Oh wow, I smell the candle, it's a little bell, oh, ding ding ding, <laughs> Ooh, I love to do this to get on somebody's nerves, this was Soulful Nectar Business Review, so stay tuned, I'm going to show you the clip of everything up close. Alright, so after reviewing the product, I actually did realize those were not two body butters. One was an exfoliant and one was a body butter. So make sure you are shopping with Soul for Nectar LLC on Facebook and IG and soulfornectar.com. Stay tuned. Coming up next, 93 Second Rant with C the Plug. C the Plug here, your digital marketing specialist is here, and we're gonna talk about ways to market your business, okay? There's different ways you can market your business, okay? It's more than just one way, and some of you guys only just using just one way, and that one way just ain't working. You need to find some other ways to work, okay? So look, you can use email marketing, okay? You can start collecting all your people's emails that they have done business with you, and you can send them emails, okay? Just little emails, drip, 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 okay? That's a way of marketing. You can do content marketing. You can talk about your business on a camera and let people know what you do, okay? Everything about your business, how to do business with you and everything, all right? Those, that's another way of marketing. And then you can also do digital marketing, paid ads, all that. That's why you need to come over here, Streets 993, let us do it for you, all right? Boom. You better hit that. Coming up next, live performance with Crystal with an Eye. Hey y'all, my name is Crystal with an Eye. <laughs> the Lazy Eye, it's my brand. Crystal with an Eye, cause I got a Lazy Eye. My name is Spill with an Eye. You know, my eye <laughs> is a lot for me, cause you know. <laughs> I got one of them eyes where people, you know, when you talk to somebody, they think you're talking to somebody behind them. They always look behind them. I got one of them eyes, but it's all right, you know. It don't stop nothing. I still get plenty of men, you know, plenty of penis. <laughs> the only reason I don't like my eye because people misjudge it, you know, because I had a nigga ask me one time. <laughs> 
I bet you got a look left to suck a dick right. And <laughs> I was offended, but I wasn't offended because I went on and sucked his dick or whatever. Listen, let me <laughs> I went on and sucked it or whatever, but you know, you ain't have to come to me like it. Uh, but my name is Crystal with the I'm a comedian out of Nashville, Tennessee, honey. I'm honorary, manish. All I talk about is fucking and sucking because I like girls and boys. I like girls who keep their coochie clean because some of y'all's coochies smell like. You know, rotisserie gonna real, but we ain't even gonna talk about that. We're not gonna talk about your sit down wind, okay? Some of y'all don't have a regular OBGYN, and that's okay, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to put you up on game. <laughs> oh, y'all, I can't say I'm lit, can I? Can I say I'm lit? Oh, y'all. That did it right there. Now I ain't got the whole shit. I'm lit, y'all. So listen, I done came in here. I wasn't ready for anything. I was nervous at first. But I ain't nervous at all now because, baby, my lashes done got heavy. <laughs> my lashes is intoxicated, my love. <laughs> Y'all don't look too hard in my grill. I got a ceiling grill. I know y'all know this. You know, I got some side missing. I give side head. <laughs> and say gummy. I got optional head. Now listen, I'm 43, right? So I just got my first pair of dentures. Don't don't worry about it. I forget them on the dresser every day. But listen. <laughs> They call it optional head once you get dentures and shit because you have the option of leaving your teeth in or taking your teeth out. Now, I got my bottom grill in tonight, <laughs> but the side ones right here, every time I put them motherfuckers in, I'll be saying, sucker and sucker tash. <laughs> the motherfuckers been on the dresser ever since, sis. Who's that? Hey y'all. I wasn't ready, but I'm okay now. You listen, I'm okay now. Because at first I was, you know, <laughs> listen, I was gonna repeat that, but I'm <laughs> I'm so lit, my hand eye coordination, my hand eye mouth coordination ain't together. So when I saw that I was gonna repeat it out loud, like to what? <laughs> I'm so glad y'all invited me here. Y'all like the coolest motherfuckers that I ran into, so you thinking a motherfucker like I just wanted to say y'all was looking at your ass and you kind of got the alcohol to throw in the trash. You bent over. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, that's my gay side coming out. I'm on the gay on the weekends. It's recreational. I like recreational pussy. So listen, we ain't gonna talk about it. But let me I'll let you, you know, after the show. <laughs> Who I appreciate y'all for inviting me. Uh, thanks, Christine B, for having me. And this is Streets 993. Period. Period, Pooh. And that's on Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the She See It Show. I am your host, Christine B. with Streets993. Comment, I see you. If you like this episode, make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and download Streets993 app to listen to the show live every Saturday. Here's your quote of the day. Weaknesses are just strengths in the wrong environment. Marianne Cantwell. <laughs>